Hi guys and welcome to Currency Converter Developers using Visual C++. So let me show you guys how this works. I'm going to clear or reset and let's enter another amount to be converted and let's select to what currency. So I'm converting British pounds sterling to maybe US dollars. Let's click on convert. There we go. So 5,000 plus is equivalent to 8,000 plus. Okay, you can also convert it back into whatever other country you want. So let's say it's Nigerian 7,000 plus to US dollar. That's what you get. So about $6 plus. Okay, so I'm going to actually exit out. And let's start a new project entirely. So let's come in here, right click, and I'm going to select my Visual Studio 2022. There. And the previous one, that's the previous one. So I'm just going to close that. All right. So come in here and let's create a new project. Click on create. Make sure you've installed CLR on your system. So I'm selecting CLRMTProjects.net for C++. Let's select that. Click on Next. And I will just give my project a name. I'm going to call this CPP Currency. Let's say Convert and click on create there we go so go straight to the solution explorer i'm going to pin that down and right here let's select the properties okay there's a property there click on that this dialog pops up so come straight to where we have uh, the configuration properties select linker Inside the linker, you now want to select system. To your right, you will see subsystem and click on the drop down menu. Select Windows subsystem Windows. That is the right idea Windows subsystem Windows. Next, select Advanced. On the advance, to the right, you will see entry point. You want to enter main. There, just type in main there. Now, click on apply. But before then, make sure you have your platform. My platform is 64 bit. Okay, so make sure yours is set to whatever you want. Or if it's 32, then you change it. Click on apply. And let's click on OK. There we go that is ready now so the next thing you want to do now come right here to solution explorer again look at the name of your project right click on it and let's select add and go for new item click on that and this dialog pops up inside this dialog those are the install component the one i want is clr or you can select ui the UI has Windows Form and uh, TLR also have the Windows Form. And if you look at the name is myform.h. UI also have myform.h. So the choice is yours, whichever you select. So I'm going to just use a uh, CLR. And let's click on Add. There we go. And that is my form. Okay. So you end up with this error. Don't worry about that. Okay, the next thing you want to do now is double click on myform.cpp here. There we go. And let's open up this area. Okay. And inside this area, there's some lines of code you need to add. These lines of code, you can always get them on this very forum. So let's come in here. I'm going to include the, the URL of this forum. I'm going to include it on in the description area for you guys to copy. 
So if you scroll right down, there's some lines of code. But if you read through, read through this forum, you will see it's actually telling you how to get into, how to build a form or create a form. Okay, if you scroll right down, this is the very lines of code I'm talking about. Okay, just need to copy the other lines of code. Copy, minimize that. And I'm going to paste it right underneath here. There will be an error because I need to change the name of my, this very name, I need to change it to CPP Currency Convert. So I'm just going to highlight that and just type in CPP Currency Convert. There we go. That's it. The error should disappear now. Okay. So I'm going to save that. My form should be ready now, but you can see the form here. I want to run it though. If you run it, the form will surely pop up, but you don't have the form on the solution explorer yet so the only way we can get this very form on the solution explorer is for us to log off and reopen the system so i'm going to close this now there we go that is it done so let's right click and open it up this is it cpp currency convert so click on that so it's more or less like you kind of like rebuild the whole lot and get it open again. And the form should be there now. There we go, look at the form, it's right there. Okay. Now you can then define the size of the form how you want or you can just double click and add some lines of code straight into the form load here. So right there, I'm just gonna enter this dot the width so I just want to define the width now I'm going to say width let I say that should, should give me about maybe 782 and the height as well so dot height so I can make that about 900 there we go so if I run it now Look at this small form. If I run it now, take this out. There we go. That is my form. It's kind of like huge. But I can always reduce it. So if I go back to my code here, just reduce it how I want. Maybe let's make it about 1200. And this one, maybe seven. All right. So let's go back to the form. This is the form here. And I'm just gonna go straight to the properties. Right here inside the properties, and I want to just set the form how I want. Okay, you see where I have start position, I'm gonna change that to center, center string. And the size here, so I'm gonna change this to whatever I have in here. So, 1000 plus my 700. So, let's go back and just get that sorted back to the properties. So, that is meant to be the width, and this is going to be 700. Or you can just drop this down, you can see the width and the height. Yeah, look at that. So, if I run it, let's see how it's going to look like. This is how it's looking. No. That's how it's looking. However, it's not giving me enough space here to do my necessary design. Or... So, let's do one thing. I'm just going to extend it so that I can add all of the components requires. So, let's go straight to the toolbox here. Just going to pin that down for, for a while. And here, First of all, I need panel. Just drag that. That's a panel there. Go straight to the properties for that very panel. And now I want to change the back color to whatever I want. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to copy this. 
hold on to the control click and drag there and copy it one more time all right so let's take this down a little bit more and bring this right down okay drag this there we go and i'm gonna copy just one more of this paste it in there but i'll change the color of this back to control control is the default color so i'm just gonna type control there there we go okay so select that bring it down there brilliant so i'm just gonna run it let's run it and see how that's looking for now save and run there that is how it's looking like now okay i think i may have just overstretched that but that's no big deal all right so we might as well just increase this a little bit more okay that's fine now next thing let's add a tie to i need a label grab hold of a label paste it right there let's increase the properties of that very label the font size i'm going to make the font size about maybe 70 yeah why not 70 make that bold and change the text content on it to currency converter let's pin that down so come back in here and just change that to currency converter or well, text currency converter okay. bring it in here all right that's fine so the next thing is i need some more components here so let's come right here grab hold of a label again one label here and i'm going to need them for the blues and well maybe make that maybe 30. there we go let's copy that two and we have four all right next i'm going to copy this very one paste it right here and i will change this to let's change that to another type of property that's going to look like a text box so let's say auto size change that to false then uh, the back color i'm going to change it to white okay come right down let's get rid of the text content in there there we go and um, what is border style you can change that to fix 3d and when you look at it it looks like a text box actually i also need two text box here no one text box come right here and grab all of a text box yeah paste it right there and have a text box okay yeah let's give it a bit of form yeah and i will change these to both components let's look for the yeah there we go fonts change the font to bold no no let's leave it as regular make it 30 yeah that's fine 30 regular that's fine and here i'm going to need two combo box combo box one and let's change the size of that to 30 as well regular 30 and just copy this hold on to your control click and drag 
There we go, guys. Let's push that up a little bit, and that's fine. Okay, so now this very one here. I'm going to change the name of this one to LBL. LBL amount converted. And here I'm going to change this to the text content to amount convert. Amount converted. Right. Okay, amount converted. So, and this here yeah, that's going to be from converting from converting to. So, I'm going to change this one to to currency. There we go. No. To currency there and this is going to be from currency and here this is going to be amount to convert there we go so let's just move them and this is going to be known as txt so that's going to be txt convert this from the box i'm going to change that to cmb from currency right and this one here is going to be known as CMD2 currency. There we go. Right. And next we need to add buttons. So let's come in and grab a button. So let's change the font size or let's change the name to BTN Convert. Yeah, and the fonts. Let's change that to something much more readable. Make it bold. I'm just going to go for 40. Yeah. And in here, I'm just going to enter convert. All right, that's fine. So the next one is going to be a reset button. Let's hold on to the control click and drag this to copy it. So that is reset. And the name of this button is going to be BTM reset. There we go. And finally, an exit button. So that's going to be BTM exit. And text and needs will be exit. That's fine. Okay, you see these two combo box. I want to enter some data on them. Okay, to enter the data on this very combo box, I'm going to double click on the form again. All right, let's come right down here. And I'm just going to enter CMD. From currency, okay. We will say dot text, and that is going to be of course. Let's say GP. No, GDP. Okay, that will stand for Great Britain pounds. Let's enter Britain there. There. So if I run it now, you should be able to see. There we go. 
Great Britain. So the other thing I want to do is when you click on the drop down list, I want I want you guys to be able to select whatever country you want to change it to. And this one, let's play it as well. I'll get the bounce to get focus on it. So I'm gonna come down here and just say TXT convert. And that is going to be dot focus. There we go. So hopefully that should do. All right, that will focus now. Come right down here. So the very first one here, I'm going to add the following. So grab the all of these and just ask the system to add an item to it. So this one is going to be item items dot add. And what are you adding? You're adding the British pound sterling and close that. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to copy that now. Now use that to change the rest around. Let's go for about 10. Yeah, that would do. You can add as many country as you want. The choice is yours. Yeah, so next country is going to be Let's go for Canada and change this to Canada. Canadian, I think they use dollar, they use this dollar as well. But I now I'm going to go for the motherland, Nigeria, and change that to Nigeria. Nigeria Naira. There. Next is going to be maybe Mexico. Next N. Mexican current. Mexican pixels. Uh, pixels they call it. Yeah. Then let's go for Euro. And changes to euro. I'll make this uppercase, and this will be euro. Okay, so need five more. I'm just gonna speed that up. Hey guys, that is it. So if I run it now, this is what you guys will see. And uh, drop this down, we can then select whatever country we want. Okay. Now, let's repeat the same thing for this. So that will be faster because I can just copy this and change the name around. Paste, and this is meant to be two currency. Let's enter two there. Let's repeat the same thing for the others. Paste and here it paste there, paste okay, three more, and that's it, and that's it done. There we go. Okay, that's going to be for my form load. So if I run it now, run. There we go, guys. Drop that down. You can select converting from British pound sterling to US dollars. And enter whatever amount in there. Okay. So with that, for now, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial or the end of the first part of this tutorial and I'll see you guys shortly.